ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the world of Warcraft. That's right, folks. Now, I had an intro telling you how to get your item level up really, really high. Um, also, I told you how I kind of get order resources really, really quickly in this game. Um, but don't worry. I will show you why I have uh, such awesome uh, order resources and all that. And it's mainly because my follower has three items. An item that gives me 65, uh, two items that give me 65 gold every single time I complete a world quest. Or, and I have also a item that gives me 50 resources every time I complete a world quest. So, now we're just going to chill and we're going to see what we have here. So, this invasion point's about to turn out, so I'm going to go to this invasion point right over here. Uh, it should be fun. It should be fantastical. Uh, so I'm going to show you kind of what is in the invasion points. Now the invasion points are really cool. Um, I kind of think they get boring after a while, but you need to do them. They're very crucial. Yay, I get to use my new mount. Woo, fly! As it retardedly... Yes, that's right. As it dumbfoundedly hops its way to victory. Oh, also, if you come across... If you're collecting herbs or... Um, if you're collecting herbs or... Uh, other resources like leather and stuff like that make sure you collect it so you can do the world quests inside um, inside these uh, inside this game uh, so because there's uh, inside Argus because there's world quests in Argus that you really need to do uh, okay I went too far I need to go back flying to the moon getting all the things Wait, is this where I'm supposed to go? No. Ah, damn it. Okay. But yeah, so this is kind of... Yeah, as you see, I have a crap ton of quests that I have not even done yet. Uh, there's actually... I wonder if there's any quests that are actually in Argus right now that I need to complete. I don't think so. Um, like, nothing that I've seen, but I think, I think I'm pretty much good on Argus right now. I'm still three out of three. I don't think it really has progressed that much in this game. Uh, they haven't really moved it forward. It's, uh, uh, but I'm waiting for the raid to release. That's going to be so much fun. Here we are. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, if there is people... Okay, so there's people that are waiting right now for the next spawn point for this, uh, this beast right here. So we're going to go ahead and kill it. But actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... While I'm here and there's nobody around, I'm going to go ahead and loot this and get some Imperium. Yes, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start this fucker. <laughs> yeah, alright, so now I'm going to bring this guy. <laughs> so, pretty much, just going to be enjoying this. Look at this. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you can get this, uh, uh, Every time you complete a certain part of the main quest line, yeah, I got another egg. Whew, these eggs are so good. Get as many as you can. These spell spotted eggs give you mounts, pets. It's awesome. I love it. So, uh, what we're going to do here, uh, so yeah, you just want to utilize what you have and go from there. So now we're going to go into here. We're going to join the other people that have been walking into here. So this is what the... Um, so this is what it is. Um, looks like we're completing a brand new one. Alrighty then. So, they're going to have a little objectives here for you. Uh, every time you complete an objective, uh, it goes to a next level. And this is extremely hard. This is like, this level is not easy. Like, killing the minions and stuff like that, of course that's going to be easy. But, I'm telling you, it gets harder and harder. Alright, so now, usually at the second part, or at the first part, you have to kill minions, and minions uh, do take some time to get down. Uh, I like to try to kind of stir up as many as I can, so my fellow people can actually, uh, 
uh, kind of stir it up a little bit there we go just kind of bring it in a little bit here yeah I'm in a bit of a pickle but it's alright that's why I'm here this is why we're here we just kind of oh, now I'm stuck and yeah, we just want to make sure that we get as many as we can and just kind of swallow it down these guys are not hard to kill they don't really uh, mostly the stuff that kills you in these uh, invasion points are going to be area effects um, and some of the area effects change weekly um, and you also have the good old-fashioned uh, boss which actually some bosses are really easy some bosses are extremely hard so you want to make sure that you know you keep a good safe distance most of the time it's when they have crazy ass abilities such as like meteor storms meet a uh, snowy snowfall or whatever the freak it is uh, but this is just this and remember the reason why we're here is we're here to get what is called uh, the Veiled uh, Argonites. Uh, that's what we need. We need is 650 of those to get a new item. Now it's really not that hard to get that because you know a lot of times bosses drop at least 10 and up. Chests, when you uh, find a chest they actually uh, release about 10 or more of the Argonites. So you kind of want to get as many as you can. Uh, the chests, I still don't know what's going on with them. I know when you get them for the day, they kind of disappear. But every once in a while, when you try to pick one up, or you're about to go get one, it seems like they kind of magically disappear, and it's kind of like, what the hell, why are they disappearing? So yeah. And now I am stuck in web. Oh my gosh. I am now starting to feel tired. I was not feeling really tired and alrighty there we are Almost there, yep, we can do it, yep, all right. Okay, so here we go, this is actually not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of tank this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and soak up as much as I can here. But this guy will be doing a lot of damage to me. And I'm asleep, which sucks, but this guy isn't too hard. He looks like he's just a bit of annoying. Uh, yeah, yeah. He he just looks annoying. He doesn't look like he's too impressive, really. So this is probably one of the easier bosses. And as I had auto loot, as you can see, the veiled Argonite. I got 44, and I also received a good old-fashioned uh little AP item or uh, artifact power item so that's always great uh, so that's an invasion point it's really simple it's really cool I think the, the the scenery is probably the best part of it but as you can see here you get an awesome uh, you get awesome artifact power uh, kind of just collect it over time and then BAM that's kind of what you want and now it is actually time to go ahead and fly away. So we're gonna go ahead and fly back to this uh, this little uh, point right here, and we're gonna move on to the next one. Now, as you saw in my earlier video, we did kill a couple things, so it wasn't that it wasn't that crazy. Uh, but I'm telling you, this it's it's super quick. Like this this game is really really quick. You just go around. It's super fun. I don't know. I just have fun. It's nice, relaxing. It's chill. I don't have to think too hard. <laughs> uh, it's kind of funny. When I started playing this, my girlfriend was... Uh, my girlfriend is so into this game. She knows so much about the lore. She's she's so geeky with it. And it's, 
it's such a turn on. I love it. I don't. I. I don't know why it is, but uh, just how passion passionate she is about this game is really, really, really sexy, and I love it. Um. Alrighty. So now all I have to do is kill attackers. Okay, that's actually kind of easy. So we're gonna get this done. I can actually, I think I can knock out two quests in one time. Uh, maybe I can. I don't know if I can. But we can try. Uh, sometimes it's easy for me just to stay there. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna climb this guy. I'm just gonna go there and I'm gonna wait, because since there's two world quests that are going on right now, just gonna go ahead get the heck up here there is a actually another um, good old-fashioned boss up here so I wonder if it actually respawned for me for the time because uh, a lot of times they don't I know the imp mother is over on the other side so that's kind of cool but there's also a boss down here I don't know if it's gonna show up as a star though yep it did okay cool um, so I don't know Oh, cool. We got actually somebody joining us. All right, sweet. So this is going to be a lot faster than I thought it was. See, look at my little guy. You can see my little guy. He's missing, but he does like 10,000 damage, 6,000 damage. I mean, it's something. I mean, it's helpful. I mean, you can't say it's not. But, you know, I mean, he does what he can do. And, you know, you try to do your best and... But yeah, so all the fun stuff. You always kind of want to do these bosses with someone else because if you do it by yourself, especially as a fighter or as a protection warrior or paladin or even as a death knight or whatever tank you are, being a tank and trying to take down bosses that have a lot of health is really really annoying because even though I'm dishing out more damage than I should as a tank it's just good gosh you know what I'm saying it's just, it just takes too much time you know it's something that you just don't want to do don't want to deal with blah, 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 blah. it's all fun and games There we go, so we got 12 Veiled Argonites right there, so now we're going to go up and we're going to go complete the World Trust, and we got another World Trophy. Every time you complete, every time you kill a boss, you usually get another World Trophy, which will give you Artifact Power, which is exactly what you need. Now I need to jump up here because I'm having a hard time. So since they're going to the, the boss, this should be really fun. Now I don't have to do much because I already have a bunch of people helping me out. All I have to do is just help kill this boss and this boss is just mean because it just pushes me away with her breath of death Why? but this boss is going down really quickly after this it should be scot free there we go look at that another other world trophy and we completed that and we got a relic which is 890 which is actually good decent um, great for beginners, you can, and especially if you have a party and you're kind of piggybacking off of uh, some of your friends. Let's say you just reach 110 and you're kind of piggybacking right now. This is going to be a perfect place. Alrighty, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to complete this last quest, which is more time consuming than killing a boss. Uh, let me go ahead and see what I can do here. Okay. That's not too bad. I just gotta remember to 
keep killing people, because if I don't keep killing people, it's going to be here. By the way, there's no shame on piggybacking off of people's kills at all. The faster you get this done, the better you can do it. Um, sometimes when the team is already, when uh, when the whole team hits, uh, like when five players or more hits the same target, uh, oh, come on, man. Really, man? I just wanted that kill, and I didn't get it. Well, that was kind of a bozo no-no. I was having a hard time clicking, and that was kind of crap, crap. Alrighty. So, how many more do we need? We need a couple more. We need a lot more. Okay, let me just... Let me just uh, kind of bring in the... Bring in the lie here. We'll, we'll get this done with. Alright, so... Sweet, sweet. Wait a second, I want to kill you all. Oh gosh. Whew, I am tired. Uh, oh look, loot. More gold. Oh gosh, when those guys use stuff like that, it's like, eh, I don't even want to go to that guy. That guy's just... By the way, this guy right here is actually one of your world quests. Um, now, I actually have a good pet scenario, or I have a good uh, pet battling right here, so I'm going to show you guys... I don't normally pet battle, but this is kind of my pet battle. Uh, when you go against tanks like this, as you see, it reduces all damage to these boss pets by 50%. And then they, uh, they cannot be dealt more than 35% of their maximum health. So this is what I do right now. As this guy, this guy's going to do like a... This guy's just going to do a 20 round kind of killer. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to go ahead and I think I can actually do this. So, ooh, no, no, no. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Bam, I'm going to nuke him. As you see that, I already took out half of his health. This Drone Micro Defender is one of the best things you could have in your arsenal. Uh, especially when it comes to just nuking people with health. After this, I kind of just switch to another person, uh, something that's usually weak against uh, whatever they are, which is critters. Uh, right now, I'm kind of using, I don't even know what's his name, uh, Grumpy. So I'm going to dish out a shit ton of damage right here. Bam. Almost done. I'm just going to hit him hard. Oh shit, he killed me. Yeah, usually that's what happens. You only have, every time I do this, I have like one pet left over. So it's not that big of a deal. So one, and he's dead. And that is going to be your, that's it. I don't really get anything out of that, but that's kind of how you do it. It's really easy. So when you get a pet battle, use the Draunei Micro Defender. Draunei Micro Defender is one of the best, one of the best, I can say, at really, really, really just going at it with this guy like it's so easy just doing uh doing pet battles with that guy in argus some pets are a little annoying they do like the one hit kills every uh seven rounds or something like that and that kind of really kills but you know you can't really be beggars and choosers and all that stuff so Oh, come on, I need to kill. So much time consuming. My armor is getting weak. My eyes are getting heavy. Alrighty, here we go. Let me just. Uh, oh well, let me let me join you, fellow warrior. We will kill these guys together. Oh, he's he's definitely a damage. Uh, 
He's definitely a damage warrior, not a tank. Okay, and I just got a buff. Every once in a while you see buffs that will give you like haste or give you uh, some extra stuff, which is really cool. So, damn. I'm having a really, really hard time here. And I don't see the Imp Mother anywhere, so I don't think there's no Imp Mother popping up soon. So, but we're almost there, so let's go ahead and kind of kill... Let's kind of finish this up. We got four more to kill, and then after that, we'll be good and be finished. But yeah, so if if you're if you're not a warrior, this actually goes a lot by a lot faster. But um, it's a lot harder for you to actually solo the bosses because the bosses do do a lot of damage. Me, I can actually solo bosses. But they take a lot of time. There we go. So we got a twisted shawl, which is bullshit. And he gave me nothing. So all I do is I go here and I go to disenchant. And I don't get hit by something that's crazy and annoying. And I don't really care. Uh, never. I will never bow. I'm too cool. Alrighty. So, as I was saying, when I go back here and I have what I have here, I will actually go to uh, get. Uh, I will go to the disenchant. I'll just disenchant these items because I really don't sell them because they're soul bound. They're it kind of screws you over. I kind of wish they weren't soul bound so I can actually sell them and make some money off of them. But you really can't, unfortunately, the game people. So you get chaos crystals. They're not great, but at least I can give them away and they can be used as components and it's not that bad. At least I'm making some use out of the items. I could sell the items and get a little bit of money out of them, but honestly, get, making crafting material I feel is more beneficial to other people because other people don't do that as, as much, so eh, saves them the time. But anyways... So that was basically a whole area right there. And as you see us, it literally took us... We had two missions earlier in the game, which actually... Earlier in the last episode, which only took me about like two minutes to complete. Uh, so it literally took us like less than... Uh, less than about 15 minutes to do all this. And I was bullshitting half the time too. Um, and, and as you see, when we go to the currency... We're already at, we gained probably about 100 Veiled Argon, uh, Argonites. Now this one, you, now this area right here, Kroken, you don't really get a lot of quests. But this, the, er, the Wasteland, oh boy, look at this. You get so much crap in the Wasteland back to back, which is gold, loot, uh, not a lot of Argonite. But if you go to Macrophy, again, you get a little bit more. And after you complete all these world quests, uh, in, in the dungeon's optional. But a lot of people like doing the dungeon because you get a lot of ape, uh, a lot of artifact power and everything, so it's really cool. But you know, this is great. It's great for starting. It's great. Uh, I I personally love it. It's super fun. Alrighty. So also. I love this. My girlfriend got me this mount. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. It's such a wonderful gift. My girlfriend actually almost... I was doing the Swift Purple Griffin forever, and then my girlfriend was like, You know what, Chris? I'm so sick and tired of you having the same damn mount. So she ended up getting me the Stormwind Chaser for the Blizzard Con ticket. She got me the Sandstone Drake, the Ruby Panther, and the Garnhal, and she got me the uh, Colfus. So that was actually really cool of her to do that because she was just so sick and tired of me riding the same damn mount. But now I actually got some mounts from some awesome drops. And I'm super excited that I got three new mounts from Argus. I'm super excited. I'm super, super excited. I also got another, um, I got a pet, I believe from a drop too. I don't know if I have it here. Uh, yeah, I think it's this guy right here. Yeah, this, this, uh, no, this is a prestige reward, I think. I don't know. 
<laughs> Look at my corgi. Okay. No, I don't think it's the Bile Scourge. I don't think it's Crusher. It's definitely not the. Oh, it's this guy. It's the uh, the Docile Skyfin. This one I got from an egg. So that was actually pretty cool. That one I got from the spell fell spotted egg. It's all purple. It's really beautiful. This one I, I think I actually bought from the vendor. So it was like 500. So that was pretty cool. It's purple with uh, green and blue. Um, so every once in a while you'll kind of come across uh, something really cool. This one I also this one I also got from Suramar. You get and then Una Una I can't remember. Uh, dropped by the Many Face Devourer. So I actually got this one from the Many Face Devourer. And this, every once in a while, you come across a really cool, cool, awesome drop. <clears throat> but, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my session here. I know I was running on talking, and I hope you guys like my beard because it's going to be growing a lot longer because I want to look like a Viking. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope uh, some of my advice is actually helpful to you on leveling up your item level. Uh, remember those Veiled Argonites are the best thing that you can get. Also, I want to say thank you for all the followers and all the subscribers uh, that have been subscribing me for the longest time. I really appreciate it. Um, also, I really appreciate when you hit that like button and I also really appreciate it. The more views I get, the better. Uh, send my videos to your friends. Uh, ask them to subscribe, but not, but uh, but not get notifications. You can actually turn the notifications off so you don't get notifications every time I post a video. I know how annoying that is when your phone pops off and all of a sudden you get another video from YouTube and it's from Weirdo Me. Turn your notifications off on your video or on your YouTube for my channel. Um, I'm going to be making more videos in the future. I am going to try to see if I can fix the color scheme on, um, on, uh, what is it, uh, Amnesia, because it seems like it's getting a little too dark, and I tried to adjust the brightness, and it's just not having it with me, and it's kind of really bumming me out, so I'm going to see if I can adjust that and play with that and start recording that soon, uh, but guys, I want to thank you again. Like, subscribe, and comment. I love to hear feedback, and hopefully I will get more better at doing this, making video stuff. But as always, I am Crazy Lightbulb. Have a great day. Thank you.